We always seem to be begging developers to bring us VR ports of PS3 games. Things that worked on 14-year-old hardware should theoretically work on PlayStation VR without much hassle, with Skyrim being a prime example of just how good things can turn out. And so it's more than a little reassuring to see developer Rockstar Games testing the VR waters with L.A. Noir the VR case files, even if it is somewhat of a half-measure, not a full VR port of the original game, but still an amazing testament to what a AAA studio can do with the current hardware. As Detective Cole Phelps, you'll take on case after case investigating a slew of crimes in 1940s Los Angeles. You'll be involved in shootouts, crime scene investigations, suspect interrogations, and a whole lot of driving from place to place. And as you're doing this, it's hard not to be impressed by the detail all around you. Character models look great, but it's the city itself that's the real star of the show. Virtual LA isn't the most populated of places. You won't see hundreds of pedestrians or streets teeming with traffic, but every city block looks different than the last, with unique storefronts and landmarks with just enough cars driving around you to convince you that people do in fact live here. And this might be a controversial statement, but LA Noir might have the best looking, most detailed open world on PlayStation VR. Sadly though, it's tremendously underutilized. Exploring the city yields no side quests, random crimes, or San Andreas style minigames. If you just follow the story and don't wander off on your own, you'll only ever see a small fraction of LA. Of course. Follow me through to the parlor. And for the most part, the story is fairly straightforward, but the VR case files only includes eight of the original 22 missions from the 2011 LA Noir game. So for gamers new to the story, it doesn't flow as smoothly or cohesively as it should. Making life even more complicated than necessary is the immersion-breaking cutscenes. Sometimes you'll see things play out in first person as yourself, and sometimes in third person as no one. So you'll frequently be wondering where you are, or even who you are, it's something that escalates to a nonsensical degree by the last few hours. And immersion-breaking problems extend far beyond the cutscenes. At this point, games like Blood and Truth or Immortal Legacy have taught us that if there's something to climb, you just reach out, grab it, and climb. Where are but L.A. Noir relies on teleportation for climbing slows walking speed to a crawl when going up or down stairs, and the smooth turning uses heavy acceleration and deceleration, which not only makes you feel like you're driving a tank, but is also guaranteed to induce motion sickness in a ton of normally unaffected gamers. But hey, at least you get to shoot lots of bad guys, right? Well, yeah, but just like car chases, they don't occur nearly as often as I would have liked. There's also no strafe buttons or traditional Skyrim-style movement options, so maneuvering around while in the midst of a shootout feels clumsy and awkward. Plus, the way the controls are mapped, it's way too easy to accidentally grab the gun with your offhand when reloading, screwing up the reload and your concentration when you need it the most. And this is what sucks about the VR case files. There's so much to do over the course of the game's eight hours, fist fighting, investigations, driving, interrogations, and the world looks simply amazing. That all the little complaints are infinitely more aggravating, because they're constantly standing in between you and your enjoyment of an otherwise amazing game. L.A. Noir The VR Case Files is simultaneously one of my favorite and least favorite games for our headset. When it shines, it shines so bright that, while you're tearing down the street in hot pursuit of a murder suspect, you'll momentarily forget about all the game's silly control problems, slow start, immersion-breaking cutscenes, and frequently boring investigations. But despite all my complaints, this is still a game everyone should play. But be patient, because getting to the good stuff takes a lot of work.